Hello everyone. This evening we are going to make some spicy goose jambalaya in our instant pot. We got this for Christmas, or I should say my wife got this for Christmas, and we're going to give it another test run on some different food and see how it goes. But my ingredients will include some fresh goose that I got from this weekend's hunt. Um, it's Canada goose, just in case you're wondering. I've got andouille sausage from Schwab's Meat Company. I've got some shrimp some jalapeno peppers and celery, some small sweet bell peppers, one onion. We have cayenne pepper, Cajun seasoning, minced garlic, petite diced tomatoes, bay leaves, ground thyme, rice. I'm opting for coconut oil instead of vegetable oil. And then chicken broth. And you'll notice my broth and my Tomatoes are either no salt or light, low salt because I am on a low sodium heart healthy diet. So we try to make everything work with that. So next we will start by cutting up the goose and the andouille and browning them in the instant pot. We've got the andouille chopped up and I'm going to put my instant pot on saute and it should start momentarily and what we will do is it'll get the coconut oil to melt and I will brown the andouille in the instant pot and get a little bit of the fat out so that we can actually put the goose in and brown it in just a moment. Alright we got the saute started and getting warm so now we're going to add the andouille. And you'll basically just want to stir it till you get a little bit of brown, just to your liking. And then what we'll do is remove it after it's brown to your liking. All right, our andouille is done browning. And now we've got the goose chopped up into small, probably one inch chunks. And we're gonna put it back in the Instant Pot with the saute. You can see that the fat melted out and got us a nice golden brown, kind of a roux almost, not really, but a, to put the goose in, we're going to brown the goose. Alright, our goose is just a little slightly browned. And we're going to start adding all the rest of our ingredients into the pot. So we're going to dump our andouille. We've got one whole red onion, two whole jalapeno peppers, three stalks of celery, and it looks like five mini bell peppers chopped up and then we've got our Cajun seasoning, our thyme, our cayenne pepper, minced garlic, and two bay leaves. And we've got our diced tomatoes, rice, and chicken broth. We're going to go ahead and add all of this in and give it a little stir. All right, it's already smelling fantastic. Okay, now that we have everything added, what I'm going to do is go to the meat stew setting and select the less for 20 minutes on high pressure. All right, so after I got it to 20, I actually backed it down to 10 because we don't want to overcook our rice and make it mushy. So our Instant Pot stopped cooking at 10 minutes and now we've let it depressurize on its own for another 12 it's showing. So now I'm going to actually let the pressure out manually. 
And then as soon as it's done, we're gonna stir the shrimp in. All right, the pressure just released, and let's take the lid off. Oh yeah, that looks wonderful. So now, we'll take our shrimp and pour it in. That was one bag, I have two 12 ounce bags, so we'll stir it in. And then turn the pot back on to simmer. All right, so now I've got this shrimp stirred in and we've got it down here set on saute. What I'm gonna do is put the lid back on and just let it bring the heat back up and simmer for a few more minutes until the shrimp is done cooking. All right, so I've been letting it simmer for about a total of eight minutes and I did four minutes with the lid on and then I removed the lid and stirred and then did another four minutes stirring at you know the two minute marks and it looks like it's ready to eat. All right, and dinner is served. This is your spicy goose jambalaya.